Our second topic will be about the program Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. For this, I will give you an insight about the course you are taking, the different subjects that you will be studying, as well as the possible careers later on after you graduate. At the end of the discussion, students should be able to familiarize the program and know the different core and professional courses of pharmacy. Graduates of pharmacy degrees work right at the heart of human health care, taking on roles relating to the design and development of new treatments, prescription and care management, and advising on the range of medical options available. So, yung mga pharmacy graduates, nagtatrabaho sila in the healthcare setting and some of their job is related to design and development of new treatments, which means involve ang mga pharmacists sa paggawa or pagdiscover ng mga bagong gamot sa sakit. They are also responsible for management of prescription. That means sila ang nagbabasa at nag interpret kung ano ang nakasulat ng mga gamot sa riseta ng doktor and also ang mga pharmacist sila din ang nagbibigay ng mga advices tungkol sa gamot na pwedeng inumin ng patient and not just sa mga patient pwede rin silang magsuggest sa mga kapwa nila healthcare provider Next is the course structure So what do pharmacy degrees cover So, if you will study Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy, you will typically take courses focusing on chemistry, which is under dito is yung mga elements, compounds, and structures. Pag microbiology and parasitology naman, ito yung mga microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. So, pag-aaralan ninyo yung mga sakit na pwedeng maidulot ng isang microorganism as well as yung mga treatment para dito. Pag pharmaceutics naman, it will teach you how medicine are made at kung ano yung reason bakit may iba't ibang form ng drugs. When you say form of drugs, ito yung mga capsule, tablet, suspension, injectables, vials, at iba pa. And pharmacology naman, it will teach you how drugs interact with our body. So, most pharmacy degrees combine academic research with more trainings and professional pharmacy skills such as learning about legal and ethical issues and how to interact with patients. So, aside from those courses, you will also learn the skills needed to communicate and interact with the patients and there will be a subject that will serve as a guide to help you on how to deal with different issues and concerns of the patients. You will also learn about prescriptions, drugs, medications, and clinical practice, and practice responding to different scenarios. So, Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. So, after you finish the four-year program, there are many fields in which you can practice your degree. Pwede kang magtrabaho sa college or university as an instructor, professor or dean. Pwede sa butika ng bayan, hospital, government agency, manufacturing company, as well as sa mga company na nagkakandak ng mga research. So, the main concern of the pharmacy education is to provide country with pharmacists who are scientifically competent to deliver the full spectrum of pharmaceutical services required in healthcare delivery. Next is the objectives of the program. So the Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy aims to prepare graduates to the following roles. So after you graduate, this will be your roles as a professional. First, Magiging healthcare provider ka because you are in a health-related profession. You will provide healthcare services to the patients, especially if you will be working as a hospital or community pharmacist. Magiging decision maker ka rin in a way in which ikaw na mismo ang magde-decide or magsasuggest sa patient if ever may mga tanong or may concern sila about the medicine. 
magiging researcher ka din, leader, lalo na pag ikaw ang pharmacist sa isang botika, so ikaw yung maglilid sa mga pharmacy assistants mo regarding sa mga drugs. This program will also prepare you on how to become a manager and entrepreneur wherein later on, if gusto mong magtayo ng sariling pharmacy, may idea ka na paano mag-manage nito. It will also prepare you to become a teacher as well as counselor. You will do counseling to the patients about their use of medication, the effects of the medicines, and pwede din kayong magbigay ng mga advices sa kanila. And lastly, this program will prepare you to become an agent of positive change because as a healthcare professional, our main goal is to bring quality health services to patients so that there will be positive outcomes for them. So, the following will be the possible field or areas kung saan kayo pwede magtrabaho after you finish the program. First is sa mga drug outlets, pwede kayong maging drugstore owner or manager, supervising pharmacist, or uh, chief pharmacist ng mga chain drugstore. So, when you say chain drugstore, ito yung mga drugstore na maraming mga branches. Pwede din maging hospital pharmacist, clinical pharmacist, or botika ng barangay pharmacist. Next naman is sa mga drug establishments. Pwede kayong maging regulatory pharmacist. So, ang mga regulatory pharmacist, sila yung nag-check or nagmo-monitor if na maintain ba ng mga drug outlets yung quality, safety, and efficacy of drugs. So, ang ginagawa nila is ini-inspect nila yung mga drug establishments. Example of this is yung mga pharmacies na nagtatrabaho sa FDA. Another one is the company pharmacies. We also have the quality control analyst. So, sila yung responsible sa pag-check sa quality ng product sa isang manufacturing company. Pag medical representative naman, sila yung nagpo-promote at nagbibenta ng mga product ng isang company. Included din sa work nila yung pag-explain ng mga features ng products nila, answering queries of the doctors, as well as explaining the details about their new products. We also have here the production pharmacist. When you say production pharmacist, ito yung mga pharmacist na involved sa production sa isang manufacturing company. We also have the marketing specialist. So, sila yung mga pharmacist na in charge sa marketing, advertising, as well as sa sales ng mga product. And lastly, we have the inventory control officer, so they are the one responsible sa inventory ng mga drugs sa isang company. For the academic institution naman, you can work in the colleges and universities as a professor and instructor. You can also be a lecturer sa mga review center. You can also work as an administrator, dean, assistant dean, and program coordinator. Sa mga government agency naman, you can work as a board examiner. So, sila yung in charge sa mga board exam. Pag food and drug regulation officer naman, same ito doon sa regulatory pharmacist. Sila yung nag -e inspect sa mga butika kung may nakajuti ba ng mga pharmacist. Sila din yung nag-check ng quality and safety if ever may mga bagong food and drug products. So, in the government agency, as a pharmacist, you can also work as the director of food and drug administration. You can also work as a hospital pharmacist, researcher, field health pharmacist, and also you can be a military pharmacist. So, sa military pharmacist naman, sila yung nagbibigay ng gamot sa mga sundalo. So, may corresponding training din para doon. And lastly is the forensic pharmacist. They are responsible sa mga research as well as in the testing and analyzing of drugs na mga nakikita nila as evidence. 
We also have the Health Maintenance Organization. So, ito yung mga organization na nagpo-provide ng mga health insurances. So, you can work there as a HMO pharmacist, medical transcriptor, and also you can be a call center pharmacist. Lastly is in the research institutions, you can work as a researcher and administrator. So we have here the outline and list of core courses. When you say core courses, these are list of courses that will give you a broad foundation of the program. So we have here the pharmaceutical botany with taxonomy, history and orientation to pharmacy, and then general principles of healthcare, which are all offered during the first year of the program. Then we also have here organic chemistry, human anatomy and physiology, pharmacy informatics, interpersonal and communication skills, and technical writing, which are all offered during the second year of the program. For the professional courses naman, we have the drug delivery system, pharmaceutical biochemistry, pharmaceutical calculations, and pharmaceutical microbiology and parasitology, which are given during the second year of the program. For the third year naman, we have the chemistry and pharmacy of inorganic medicinal, physical pharmacy, biopharmaceutics, and pharmacokinetics, public health, pharmacognosy, and plant chemistry, Chemistry and Pharmacy of Organic Medicinals, Manufacturing Pharmacy, Pharmacology 1, Hospital Pharmacy, Quality Control 1, Research and Thesis Writing 1. For the fourth year naman and the last year of the program, the courses offered are the following. We have the Pharmacology and Therapeutics, which is the continuation of your Pharmacology 1. We also have the Quality Control 2, Dispensing and Medication Counseling, Pharmacy Administration, Pharmaceutical Jurisprudence and Ethics, Clinical Toxicology, Marketing and Entrepreneurship, and we also have the research and thesis writing too. So these are all the professional courses of the program. For the thesis requirement, Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy is a program wherein the students should have completed the research requirement and submitted a thesis output. So as part of the program, you are required to submit a hard bound of your thesis. It could be an experimental research, which means you will conduct an experiment for your study, and it could also be a descriptive one, which is a study that focuses on answering the how, what, when, and where questions of your research problem. And for the last one is the internship requirement. So the student must have completed the number of hours for community, hospital, and manufacturing pharmacy practicum as requirement for graduation. So before kayo makagraduate, kailangan makomply ninyo ang internship. When you say internship, ito yung training kung saan ma-expose kayo sa iba't ibang fields ng pharmacy and you will gain experiences along the way. So, these internships are required for your graduation as well as in taking of your board examination. So, we have here the community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, and manufacturing pharmacy to be complied for 200 hours each. And for the major internship naman, you will be the one to choose in any of the three kung saan nyo gusto mag-specialize. And you need to finish it for 360 hours. So that would be the end of the discussion.